welcome to the MBS2 Review and Discussion Podcast. I am your host, Norma Santo. Joining me today is Silver Quill. Today, we'll be trying to break Sapphire of a bad habit. Every time she goes oof, she owes us a quarter. Yes. And, and, I have a bet for you then. If I don't uh-huh. say that certain word, like, uh, during this podcast, if, if I don't say it at all, you get to go outside! Oh no. no! But it's I nature. Think I agree to it. And sunshine, it, it's she. <laughs> I don't care. But Silver, I heard that the outside world is better than 4K. I heard it was 8K. Better than it's 3D. Mm, yeah, true that. I mean, you don't really need to use Oculus Rift or whatever they have. The PS4 VR or something like that. You know, you don't have to use a stupid gimmick and everyone knows it. Yeah. But the gimmicks is fun. <laughs> and also joining us is Happy Heart Songs. Hi! I'm not going to say a certain word. That you know of. this entire podcast. That you know of. That I know of. We'll be of. impressed. Mm-hmm. But she'd be mute most of the time. So, yeah, that's cheating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't mind that. <laughs> so, anywho, for you guys at home, Seppi has been saying woof a lot or woof a lot. So yeah, it's been her. Woof! I'm not a dog. <laughs> well, I say woof. But anyway, um, she's been saying it six times now before we started recording. So yeah, let's see how high she can go. I have a D20, so <laughs> it's gonna go high. Norman's encouraging her to do it. I'm trying to break her the habit. <laughs> Poor Sapphire is probably getting very mixed messages right now. Very. But see, by you wanting her to do it, she won't do it. See, it's reverse psychology there. See, 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 see. So I'm winning. Yes. <laughs> My plan is flawless. Well, I wouldn't say that, old man. <laughs> oh. You say that now, but you'll thank me. You'll thank me, Safi. Uh-huh. <laughs> but anywho. You'll thank me with free commissions as you draw more boobies. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> oh my celestial <clears throat> So anywho In today's issue Sunburst reads about The legend of Miss Mare and Cantalot Castle So uh, where was I? Did, I did I skip a few things Yes uh, in today's uh, podcast review We are going to do Legends of Magic issue 3 Also Patreon sponsored by Starstream thank you so much And like I mentioned before This issue Sunburst reads a book about Miss Man, Miss Main and Cantalot Castle. Yes. So, uh, let's hit into first impressions. Silver, what do you think of said book? It has Luna. Luna, Luna, Luna. Also, Chibi Luna. It's cute. Chibi Luna, the most adorable Luna of them all. Yes. Totes adorbs. I know. Much awesomeness. Much, much awesomeness. And, uh, I enjoyed. I, this was the second delving into the history of uh, the pillars and this was before we knew that they had vanished or that there might be part of the season finale so miss main encouraged a lot of imagination namely is she dead mm. are we seeing a ghost pony Safi, i see dead ponies oh no oh no oh no and one of them looks like bruce willis <laughs> really at least you're not seeing Michael Jackson. <laughs> oh, that's just ignorant. No, it's ignorant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boys. Uh, so, anywho, Seppi, what do you think of this issue? It was adorable, and I loved it. And the the beginning part of the scene was the best part of it. <laughs> let's let's face it. Want to read book, but book tell you to go outside. So yeah. You have to go outside into the garden. <laughs> but but there's sunlight and, and sunshine and 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 icky grass. Ew <laughs> I don't know. It it was the best part for me. Just because it feels like, you know a, a lot of people don't go outside nowadays. Like even I don't, but I still try to when I can. So I don't know, just seeing that part in the uh comic just it, it left me chuckled and Happy. <laughs> it's cold outside, no kind of atmosphere. <laughs> yeah, but this reminds me of that one game done by Hideo Kojima, Baktai, The Sun is in Your Hand, where it forces you to go outside and play video games. 
Oh dear. But anyway, uh, as for me, this book was fun. Like getting to know about Miss Main was just awesome. And yeah, Miss Main here is one of the pillars and whatnot. And she is an allegory for Fluttershy. We get to see how she. No rarity, rarity. Mm, yeah, it's kind of. But when I first read this, I thought it was Fluttershy because she gets to talk to the animals and whatnot. Like you won't really know it was rarity until you see the um. How would you episode? call it? Yeah, the episode. Because here, you take a look-see and she's talking to the animals, she's understanding them and whatnot, and, oh, no, uh, she's in the forest, suddenly, oh, stuff. So, yeah, you, you would be um, confused. It was um, Fluttershy rather than Rarity. Although, did I hear a certain word while you were talking to Norman? No. I have the recording. I think I heard it. Yeah, you're not going to find it. <laughs> All right, we'll hold off for now, but you're, you're t- I'm watching you. <laughs> you mean, okay, have uh, fun. Yes, you will. Have fun as I as I draw boobs. <laughs> so, any, ha, ha, ha. um, where was I? Yes, well, <clears throat> welcome to the NBS show. NBS show after dark. Oh no! Ha 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 ha! Oh no! Don't don't put ideas in people's head. Oh no! So, anywho, uh, if you guys have not read this comic yet. A pause here and go read it first. Welcome back. I hope you enjoyed the book and let's hear what we have to say. So the books. Did you read it in the garden? Yes, that, that is a good question. Did you? For me, no. I have this book digitally, so I had to read it where there's a power plug. There's tablets available. You cannot escape it. I don't have a tablet, Silver. We got to start an emergency fund. Get Norman a tablet. No, no, no. If you really want an emergency fund, get me to BronyCon. <laughs> I no, thought the go. emergency fund was getting me a new phone that actually is matched to this modern day. <laughs> what, the Nokia 3310? Preferably a, a phone that won't explode, so Samsung's out. <laughs> Wait, Samsung phone explodes. Yeah, they do. Uh-huh. <laughs> well, I just said, Samsung's out. But anywho, but anywho, we start off the book with Sunburst reading, or trying to read, The Legend of Miss Maine. But before he could read it, there is a page where Starswell says to Sunburst that, Yo, dude, go read this book outside in the gardens. And Sunburst just shrugs off and tries to go further. And it seems that Starswell cast an enchantment on the book where if you want to read the book, you have to go outside. And kind of a funny statement for Star Swirl himself, it shows the respect he has for the other pillars. We'll see later that he needs to work on his respect for others, mm-hmm. but he really does honor the, uh, their legend and memory through his own notes. So it's kind of funny. He He can be a very respectful guy, but it's very utilitarian view. Yeah, yeah. I'll respect you when you did something. Now, now get outside and get off my lawn. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but anywho, uh, let's see. So Sunburst goes outside into the gardens and starts reading the book. And yeah, um, the enchantment breaks when Sunburst does what Star Soul wants. Yes. What would happen if it were raining though? Star Soul would be like, "Oh dear, no! Get back inside my 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 book, my precious book." What are you doing out in the garden, you fool? You fool! Star Soul would just say, Tough luck, no reading today. Uh, try again another one. Have you cleaned your room? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. That is... No. But anywho. Uh, we told a bit of a backstory about Miss Main. Uh, all this can be seen in the episode where she premiered. So we're not going to go through that again. Even though hers was the coolest story. Seriously, that was my favorite of the three stories of uh, Campfire Tales. Mm-hmm. That was a really good one. But anywho, um, we get to see Miss Main out in the forest with the animals and chatting with them. And like I mentioned before, you could be confused that she is the element of generosity because with how Fluttershy like she is. Well, she's well not- technically she's the element of like beauty, I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fluttershy is renowned for her beauty. She got a modeling role. 
Oh, I remember something. Uh, I'll send it to you later, Silver, because this has something to do with Fluttershy. But anyway, uh, we carry on. Uh, while Sh- Miss Main's walking in the forest, we hear a loud bang. And we discover that uh, some construction ponies are building Kentara Castle. Ooh, interesting. Of all things, can only imagine the zoning laws in that production. What zoning law? Exactly. <laughs> So it seems that the construction ponies, medieval construction ponies, mind you, see that their tools have been sabotaged. And Miss Ming goes and asks, while doing so, um, scaring the bejesus out of one construction pony. And yeah, um, <laughs> construction pony says, Lady, do not sneak out on a person like that. And he explains that somehow there's some evil spirit thingy or hunted woods, something, something of a jig, is stopping our progression for finishing this castle. And no matter what we do, it seems that we're being delayed, and that's not good. And Miss Min says, why don't you guys take a break, and I'll solve this problem. And Construction Pony says, yay, um, awesome, thanks. Random stranger I've never met, and I'm yet trusting with my work site. Yeah, 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 that makes sense. I'm just saying, you know, ponies are trusting by nature, but good gravy. This was before technology, Silver. Agreed. So paranoia is not linked to technology. <laughs> uh, no comment that one, my friend. I don't... I, you could not trust people back in the day. Back in my day, we didn't trust people until they gave you a hand. But that, I mean, they lopped it off and handed it to you. <laughs> it was how we said hello. <laughs> oh, wow. And thank you for stitching the arm back on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anywho. Me. <laughs> well, anywho. So Miss Main scouts around the construction site, talks to the animals, wanting to know about stuff. And she camped out in the, um, well, construction site or the unfinished castle. And somehow, there's a person or a pony that says halt. And said Pony is Princess Luna, Princess of the Night, and she is young and cute in this one. Ooh. Princess of Adorableness. I know. This version of Luna is fun. Although, Norman, we, we missed our musical cue. Oh. Camp out and this made sing this song. Do da, do da. <laughs> yes. Well, anywho. Princess Luna uh, tells uh, Miss Main in this, uh, in this scenario here, she's hooded figure to stop. They banter a bit and the long and short of it is Princess Luna wants to know who is the evil spirit or evil person or whatever it is that is halting production on her castle. And she accuses the hooded figure to be the perpetrator. But Miss Main says, I'm no perpetrator, Just uh, I'm just a friend. And why don't you stop and take a listen? And as they go on further, they spot some cute animal. This is Luna's word, not mine. Miss Payne's answer is watch and listen. And <laughs> oh, we are about to get the best jaw drop in the franchise. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, wow. So, on the next page... <laughs> We get to see the animals running amok, destroying things and whatnots. And Princess Luna's jaw hit the floor. Not not literally. And she's just shocked at the utter violence. And, oh no, what has happened to the cute fuzzy animals? What are they doing? Why are they destroying the castle and whatnot? I think we're seeing Angel Bunny's ancestor doing that karate chop. Yeah, I, I, I see it, man. I see it. Pretty much, yeah. It's like, oh, a cute little bunny. Oh, no, it's trying to murder me. Okay. Yeah. So, anywho, Princess Luna goes to the animal and commands them to stop. And, yeah, she levitates a few mouses and some creature taps mice. her. Mice. Mice. Mice, not mouse. Mice. 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 Just to be annoying. Well, well, mice, alright. So, uh, Princess Luna levitates some mice for them to stop doing whatever they're doing, and some creature is tapping her on the head. How rude of him. And said creature is a bear, and he roars. 
and Princess Luna is afraid. She、uh, cowers in fear, as opposed to cowering in apathy. <laughs> yeah, but here's the most confusing part. Why did the bear roar so hard and not do anything? Because in the later scene, it's shown that the bear was kind of confused at Luna's fear and whatnot. Well, you know, it's probably like put down, my friends. True, 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 true. Also, I love that one of the mice has like a Japanese bandit、uh, cloak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Any move with little swirly marks. Yeah, that is cute and adorable. Although I don't know, I don't know how I feel if they're giving mice the swirlies. <laughs> <laughs> no comments. So, anywho,、uh, Princess Luna is afraid of the wild animal because they might hurt her, and Miss Main just says. Remember, I sit, watch, and listen. You're not listening, and logically, Luna says, "I don't speak bear." And、Miss、that feels like a brother bear reference. <laughs> Probably. I'm Phil Collins, and I'm singing this song. <laughs> and、oh. it's so sad; it goes all night long. <laughs> oh well. <clears throat> so anywho, Miss Main just says. You'll get it. Just look and listen, and you'll and they'll understand you, and you understand them. And with that, Luna talks to the creatures, and the creatures react to her speech or to her talking. And Luna asks, "Is it the castle? Do you not want us to build it here?" And the bear nods and whatnot. So there's this interaction between the creatures and Luna, and Luna stops and listens and talks to them. And in the end, she created a blueprint for the new castle idea, and well, it seems to be going successfully. And Miss Main just pulls away like Batman. Oh, I'm Batman. Yeah. Now, now, there's one thing that sort of confused me, little like when I、uh, saw this comic.、Mm-hmm. Did they have the castle of the two sisters before or after?、Um, the- This. The castle of before. the yeah before the castle of the two sisters was always there. It was kind of near the Everfree Forest, and it was featured in the first Legends book where it starred quote unquote Star Swirl, but it's actually a Luna,、uh, Luna Celestia book. Yeah, I saw that one.、Yeah. I I thought that was still the、um, you know the the regular. Thing. Yeah,、uh, that was the castle of the two sisters, and somehow、uh, in this issue, Starswell wanted to build another castle for. You know, I'm going a bit too fast. Um,、uh, let's just say、yeah. Luna understands, and day breaks, she flies off back to her old digs, and kind of solves the problem and tells Celestia and Starswell that what they're doing is wrong and. The creatures are well threatened by their、upset. presence here. Yes, upset is also in the word too. Especially one possum that is perched on Luna's head and wearing her crown. It's like again looking for ancestors here. I bet that's Tiberius's great great something. Yep, yep. And but I gotta say, while it's wearing Luna's crown, it looks more like a pirate hat. Yo ho! Yar, I, <laughs> I be a pirate princess. Erty har. Yo yo yo. So anywho,、uh, Miss Mean came comes along and says that huh. Probably those two princesses is what the world needs, and yes, much awesomeness will happen. I'm thinking. And she talks to the animals, saying that I hope you'll be on your best behaviors and whatnot. And the bear says, "Yeah, we'll behave. We'll behave." Next scene, Star Swirl kind of reprimands Luna for leaving the castle without any guards because how could you? You might get hurt and whatnot. Blah blah blah, and. Celestia just reprimands Luna for、oh, if you're gonna tell a lie, please tell a believable lie, because we all know you can't talk to animals. We're still dealing with Brat Lestia th- at this phase. Yeah. Yeah, really. Oh my gosh. I like Brat Lestia. I, I didn't. I I didn't realize how much of a brat she was until this issue. Or like, the previous one. You know, growing up, I mean, yeah. Well, there's the thing, because I love it that Celestia. Grows into this mature, nurturing、uh, mother figure for the land. You know, the queen mother,、mm-hmm. and but she starts out a little full of herself. It actually shows how she can be so patient with others. She knows 
I've been there. I know what they're going through. Mm-hmm. And I'm over a thousand years old. So yeah, I've learned to deal with it, even though I don't know how to act and whatnot. Or she's perhaps the greatest troll of them all. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, Luna shows Starshall and Celestia her blueprint for the new castle, and they love it. Star- Especially <laughs> Celestia. Yeah, yeah. Those those hearts in her eyes. Yeah. So anyway, um, Starshall shows the blueprint to the construction ponies, and yay, they start the project. And it seems that Starshall is worried because, oh, um, if we don't do this right, the animals might revolt and whatnot. And yeah, Starshall is just worried for nothing because as the construction starts, uh, it seems that all the missing tools somehow miraculously appeared and somehow some of the projects that were not finished were finished when the construction pony come the next day. So this castle is moving along smoothly and I'm guessing somehow, somewhere... Some union workers are pissed off at how fast this thing is carrying along. It's like, no, we, we've got to slow down production just to meet our quotas. <laughs> I'm just saying words because I heard people say them. Uh, is it true, Silver? There's no union workers? In truth, I don't know enough about... I have not had to work with unions outside of... Oh, gosh. We were covering the speech by then Senator Obama mm-hmm. in Colorado as he accepted the... After as he was making his run for presidency. And it was so funny that the unions had all these video cables sparsed out. So it's like, we need, we can't work on this until we get uh, some video connectors. And I look down at this box. I'm looking right at it. And it's the, and it is exactly the wires we need. So I asked, well, what about these? It's like, no, no, those aren't a part of ours. That's a different union. We can't touch that. <laughs> Oh. And I just like, okay, I'll just sit here and not do my job because there's nothing to work with, even though the wires are right there in front of me, taunting me. <laughs> Use me. Viciously. Use me. Uh, but it does make sense in a way when it comes to protocol and procedure. There comes a point, though, where you have two unions working on the same project and they're actually slowing each other down. That is arguably, it's like, can we, like, make a note of what we used and compensate them later? Mm, true. By that point, it's called a collab. And you know how collabs are. Ha <laughs> They break your soul. <laughs> Indeed. So, anyway, once the castle is finished, uh, the construction pony says, um, Yo, we got no idea how to do a garden, so we're going to skip on it and leave it to you, Starswell. So, you go do the garden, all right? We're out of here. Wow. Wow, that is indeed the, every stereotype of a union. Really? <laughs> well, yeah. It's like, hey, I would help you, man, but we don't know how to do this. So, you know, you got to do it yourself. <laughs> Yay. So, anywho, Star Swirl picks up a book on how to build a garden. And to his surprise, the garden is done. It looks much better than what he could have done. And somehow he spotted a mysterious Hooded figure, ooh, the one that Luna kind of slips on telling them about. So when he ch- tries to chase after her, uh, yeah, Starshall kind of lose track of Miss Main and spotted some flowers. Yes, awesomeness. This garden will be so beautiful. I have to wonder what book, was it Gardening for Royalties? Oh, you know what, that's what you want to think, Silver, but it could just be Gardening 101. <laughs> Well, I'm going to go with what I wanted to say, because it's <laughs> fiction, and I say thee nay. All right, you So, anywho. Uh, we... Also, I haven't he- we haven't heard from Safi for a while. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming... Oh, I'm still here. I've been assuming you've just been woofing off off on mute. No, no, if if I was on mute, you would see the icon. Yeah, you. but you have been really quiet about it. Like, this is your favorite story, right? Yes, it is, but I've been also trying to avoid saying the uh, obvious word, and I've been catching myself like, no, no, can't say that. Can't That's not fair. That. You haven't said anything. No. <laughs> this is working. This this is working. This is how we break ourselves of habits. Also, you're probably just spending all your time drawing booby <laughs> That too. That That is definitely what I'm doing, oh, actually. <laughs> and, uh, and because Safi asked for it, a, re- a reprieve. 
I don't want to work. I just want to draw boobies all day. I don't want to play. I just want to draw boobies all day. <laughs> what song is that from, Silver? Well, uh, it's a take on I don't want to work. I just want to bang on the drums all day. All righty then. I just want to bang on the drums all day. Oh, wow. No, now I really wonder, should I post a remix of that? Or, yeah, you know what? I don't care. Do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Do it. Tech- Silver Quill, the techno. <laughs> uh, well, we'll see, we'll see. Ex- Patreon exclusive, that's all I have to say. Aww. Oh, you'll get it, Safi, but for the general audience, Patreon exclusive. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, you're going to get it. <laughs> well, you're going to get it all right. Yeah. <laughs> what anywho. What anywho. What anywho. Why does that sound dirtier than it needed to be? Yeah. Uh-huh. What anywho. What anywho. <clears throat> Let's see. Um, With that, uh, the book ends and Sunburst here enjoys reading about it. And yeah, he's glad that he read it and he enjoys reading it outdoors. Uh, He turns his head back and sees, oh, is that Miss Main? I need to talk to her. Oh, and it's just some animals picking fruit. And huh, uh, he feels rather silly because Miss Main is just a legend only. She's not real. <laughs> uh, now on to the next book, Flash Magnus and the Royal Legion. The irony of that sentence in hindsight, because again, back in the day, we didn't know what the legends of magic really this came out before we heard Miss Main's legend, even. Mm-hmm. And <laughs> so we didn't we didn't know they were missing. Well, to me, it's just uh, legends, just stories, you know, some world building stuff. And yeah, it's one of those things where it's get it can get rather confusing if you don't see the full picture. Well, speaking of getting confused, I had a bit of perplexity with this story back in the day mm-hmm. because I wondered, could Miss Main be a spirit? Ah, yes. She sleeps outdoors. We don't see her consume any food or worry about, you know, basic necessities. She appears behind ponies and scares them half to death and then vanishes just as quickly. Like Batman. I, for, uh, I'm Batman. But you're saying? But uh, I, I just wondered for a time if Miss Main may be more ethereal than anything. True. But by that logic, right, you see... You don't see her eat. She's there when she needs to be there, and she disappears without a trace. That's like Batman. I am the knight. So is Batman a ghost? I'm whatever I want to be, because I'm Batman. <laughs> Wait, so then how did Batgirl and Batman and the killing joke do the thing? I was badly written in that, because I'm Batman. <laughs> if you really want to know, as Matt Munchkin. Wow. I didn't know Maddie was into that. (laughs) I'm talking about Batman. I like to write Batman slash fiction because I'm Mary Sue. She is going to kill you when she finds out. Patreon exclusive. I know. I'm Mary Sue. I I can't do the voice. I can't do the voice. I'm going to destroy you and stuff because I'm Mary Sue. (laughs) Anyway, with that... I am the knight because I'm Batman Sue. (laughs) Comic ends. So let's go to... (laughs) Norm's just trying to shuffle us off the stage so he can not make Batman mad at him. I'm trying because I want to get her on for another Batman review. (sighs) So anywho... um... Wait, Silver... Silver, did you call her, like, Bat Menchkin? What? <laughs> oh, no, I call her the Bat Sue. I'm Bat Sue. I'm the best character in DC. <laughs> Make an entire movie cinematic universe out of me, because I'm Bat Sue. Oh, wow. Well. Okay, we actually should move on. Yeah. <laughs> so, anyway, with that, let's hit into final thoughts. Silver, what do you think of this book? Well, this one is, is fun. I will admit, at this point, Luna's the golden thread. She was part of the first tale, audience for the second, and now a participant in the third. I was starting to think, man, is Luna going to appear in every single Legends of Magic? I have no problem with this. <laughs> yeah. I was going to say. Because <laughs> I'm Luna Sue. Are you calling your waifu a, a Mary Sue? Well, why not? I've been shipped with Mary Sue enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, that makes sense. That makes sense. Oh, buddy. Uh, but... I, I, it's a thoroughly enjoyable one. Like I say, at the time, it made me wonder if 
Miss Maine might be a specter, but uh, yeah, no, she's not. She's just very good at sneaking up on ponies. And I would very much love if in the show she just kept startling Twilight and Rarity at some point. Yeah, I do want to see more of the pillars because uh, as planned for season eight, we only get to see um, Rock Hoof and Star Swole. Other than that, we got no idea about the rest. Even Stygian? Even Stygian? Yeah, even Stygian has his moments in the comics, in the, whatchamacallit, annuals. So, at least we get to see him interact with the modern age. Like, what about the rest? Well, they have shuffled r- off into obscurity. Mm-hmm. They are in the void of positive action. It's where they're doing good things, but we don't get to see it. Huh? Yeah. Probably. Celestia's been there for five seasons. Oh. At least. Oh, I'm here, rocking it on, trying to do some stuff. Yay me. Sometimes I become a high school teacher. Yay me. And you were really bad at your job. Yay me. And also, sometimes I am a harbinger of Celestia from Hearthstone, somehow. I'm sorry, what? Uh, it's What? It's, it's a new card in Hearthstone. Moving heart. on. <laughs> Uh, like, oh, now, you've angered the Safi. You're my headphones. Lol. You've you've angered the Safi to where she throws her cat headphones. Yeah. Okay. Anywho, Silver, uh, is there more to your tale? Yes, there's the tale of how Safi likes to throw her headphones <laughs> in anger. Is that technically a form of animal abuse if it's cat headphones? <laughs> uh, not sure. But anywho, uh, let's see. Safi, what do you think of said comic? It was okay. <laughs> Okay, in all seriousness, so I, I did enjoy it, especially quick at the beginning. I think that was definitely my favorite part. Luna as a filly, though, <sighs> she's absolutely adorable. Aha, that's like totes adorb. Very, very adorable. And I loved her reactions, basically being all like, Get off my property! <laughs> Respect my authority! <laughs> You critters, get off my proper time! <laughs> but I have to give credit to Brenda Hickey. We've mentioned this once and I'll mention it again. Her art in terms of pony reaction is priceless. Priceless? Yes, priceless. Okay. Oh, sorry, you just sort of stopped there. It's like, did we lose Norman? No, no, it's like, that's, the, that's, the, that's my end thought and I was hoping somebody pick it up. Well, it is priceless. I mean, like I say, the best jaw drop in the franchise. Mm-hmm. I, I think they're small, but yeah. When it comes to Brenda Hickey, we'll we get to see more of her art style. I just like it. Like I mentioned before, it's a close number one. Number one. Yes, number one. So wait, uh, Seppi, do you have any more to say? No, not really. Ah, all right then. So as for me, um, like I mentioned, Brenda Hickey's art is awesome, and for this book, I do like the story. We we get to see. Star Swirl trolling on Sunburst, and we get to see Miss Main become the Batmare. I'm Batmare. I'm Batmare. Yeah. Why do you want to kill me? <laughs> what? I don't know you want to kill me. And I'll say, I can't. This is the worst interrogation. Why do you want to kill me? <laughs> what? <laughs> but anywho, we get to see. Bah, 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 bah. You see how annoying that is? Bah, bah, bah. Can I bat bat? <laughs> Oh, boys. But anyway, we get to see... <laughs> there we go. I broke Norman again. It's what I do. Because I'm Batman. You haven't broken me, though. Ha, 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 ha. Well, uh, yes, I did. Because, uh, you you know, uh, I don't want to work. I just want to draw the boobies all day. <laughs> see? See, now she's getting oh, I I was referring to the other type of brick. <laughs> There are many ways to break a person, Safi. Let's be open minded. <laughs> yeah, good point. Oh wow, my goodness. So I'm a devil. Why do I wanna come back? Uh so like I was saying, um <laughs> we get to see some world building. Uh we get to see the erection of Cantalot Castle. That's a word, right? <laughs> he said erection. <laughs> but it's the word, right? That's, that's how you probably phrase it, right? <laughs> You are exactly correct, Norman. It's just that weird juvenile. (laughs) But I broke Sappy. Yes, you did. Well done. Huzzah. Two points. Huzzah. (laughs) Yep. 
Yes. Yeah, I'm sure uh, the, the all the flagpoles will be at attention for that. <laughs> so, anywho, um, Teen Luna is cute and awesome, and you know what? I there's there's no going beyond that. Yeah, I like this book. It's very funny, entertaining, awesomeness. Uh, so, anywho, Silver, what are we going to do next week? Well, I believe that it is time to go back to this show. Welcome to the show. Yeah, we thought you'd like to know. So, having... <laughs> eh, why not? Why not? Would you rather we talk about uh, erecting Candlelot again? <laughs> yes. Giggity. All right. Yeah. But, because then well, I get to laugh about it. <laughs> well, you might get to laugh at the next episode, which is horseplay. Oh, no. <laughs> Uh-oh. Something tells me Safi is not pleased. <laughs> I will hide again. I will go back to my realm known as Wendy's. Oh, wait. I quit there. Never mind. I can't go back there. Oh, that's okay. You could just keep keep drawing the, the booby artwork. <laughs> okay. Oh, boy. Well, anyway, Silver, uh, horseplay? Horseplay with, with Celestia for best actress. Yay. Much awesomeness. So, yes. Next week, we'll be covering horseplay. Uh, season 8, episode 7. And yeah, I won't go beyond that because by me going beyond that, we're already starting the recording for that one. So no. So anywho, um, yes, uh, next week, horseplay. So anyway, if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS Show. My personal Twitter account is at Norman Sanzo. Silver, where can the good people find you? You can find me online on YouTube at uh, Silver... Well, just do a search for either Silver Quill or After the Fact. I'm on DeviantArt with MLP-Silver-Quill. And you'll find Pinkie Pie Says Goodnight Comics well, twice a week now because we've got those darn Australian double airings. Because you're Australia. Ah! Yeah. Crap! Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Seffy. I made it so far! <laughs> you did! I made it so far! Oh, I'm so proud of you for making it as far as you did. <laughs> <laughs> we, <No>! almost, <laughs> we almost made it. We no! almost made it. <laughs> I hate myself. <laughs> we'll break her of the habit yet. So. <laughs> Oh, fine, for... here's a 20. Here's a 20. Oof, 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 oof. <laughs> this thing can't do rapid fire. <laughs> uh, enough, enough, enough. So, um, what was he saying again? Uh, and, and, uh... and you can also find me on Equestria Daily, where I post a either comic review or editorial every Wednesday. And I think my next editorial will be how hard it is to break a habit. <laughs> nice, Sue. I hate you. <laughs> we, we, we think very highly of you, Safi. Yep. No, oh, you so, don't. So you close. Don't. It's so far. <laughs> uh, so anyway, Safi, where can the good people find you? Woof. <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in the corner of shame. That's where you should find me. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> you sure you don't? Just look up Anime Christie and then you'll find me. Other than that, I'll be in the corner of shame. <laughs> yeah, just, do, just do a search online for oof. <laughs> no, then you'll just get a bunch of Roblox memes. Oh, wow, my cheeks hurt. <laughs> oh, oh. So anyway. Oh, that was fantastic. <laughs> so anyway, also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube. Don't forget to press the bell icon to stay up to date. And Stitcher Radio, and also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyLive.com. Links are in the show notes. And also do subscribe to the review and discussion podcast on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. You'll get to hear us do this. This is awesomeness. This has always been really, really fun. If you'd like to support the show, you can do so at Patreon.com. With every support, you'll get a week's early access to the review and discussion podcast, exclusive and deleted content. And... Somehow in my head, probably I'll do what Silver mentioned before about his solo track, about that song he mentioned before. Yeah, so uh, catch for that. Like, probably it'll be up somehow. Yeah, Patreon exclusive. Or you can stay tuned for my next hit single, Who Let the Saffs Out? Oof. Ah! Oof, oof. Who Let the Saffs Out? Oof.
I'm oh. I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. <laughs> Oh, lady, who talking about? And, and also, a huge thank you from <laughs> me. Uh, so, t- talking about thank yous, uh, Tristan, <laughs> Lurka, Cat, Mastel, Leg, Lucky Knight, Charles, Amy, and Starstream. And yeah, uh, the Sappy has left the building. <laughs> so, any just to much. make that clear. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I am the very giggly silver quill. <laughs> and I am triumphant. Huzzah. And I am broken. <laughs> and we'll guys catch you next week with another fun field review. Uh, see you guys. Oof, oof, oof. Kill me. And you were doing so well, Seppi. <laughs> you were doing so wonderfully well, this <laughs> <laughs> I hate you both. <laughs> <laughs>